Okay, reading here from an excerpt from the book, The Mysteries of Nutrition, Life-Changing Ideas to Heal the Body. Um, this is just a part of an article um, called The Threefold Mystery of Magnesium, uh, which we did another podcast on um, called um, The Mystery of Magnesium. So if you want to get the, the, the rest of this article, go to the uh on the blog page um, or... Um, listen to two different podcasts. <laughs> so the mystery uh, magnesium would be the second one. And then this one will just be the, the intro that um, was added that I found very interesting because of how synthetic it is. It, it synthesizes so many things in one small space, but, and these are things you never hear about magnesium. So it's kind of, you read a bunch of studies and you come up with different information than, than, than someone else. So, um, I'll go ahead. The outer sun converts cholesterol into vitamin D in the skin. This partial conversion is assisted by magnesium-dependent enzymes in the skin. The word enzyme comes from the word sun. After transport, further conversion is done in the liver and the kidney to create the storable 25-dihydroxyvitamin D and the fully active form of vitamin D, 1.25-dihydroxyvitamin D, respectively. The storable form is found in the fatty tissue. Whereas iron is the central molecule or sun of hemoglobin, magnesium is the sun or central molecule of the chlorophyll constellation. Magnesium is also the active ingredient in bioluminescence along with manganese. Magnesium is known in metallurgy to give off the brightest light of all, white light. This process also creates UV light. Magnesium acts as an inner sun to further assist the outer sun by magnesium dependent enzymes hydrolysis and hydroxylation of vitamin D. This inner sun is also active in the conversion and storage of the nutritional input of vitamin D. The beginning of this activity between vitamin D and magnesium happens in the skin. Through magnesium's desaturation of fats via increased activation of the ATP cycle and overall upregulation of catabolism and metabolism, obstacles are cleaned out from the blood, including LDL cholesterol. Magnesium also acts as a natural blood thinner, reducing thromboxan and allowing for less sticky or coagulated blood. On the other hand, magnesium protects the noble fats, myelin sheets, and the neuroplasticity of the synapses, nerves, and tissues. Magnesium reduces lipid peroxidation through its protective and preserving role via its mineral-rich, water-bearing properties of slightly granular traction viscosity. Magnesium even assists in the conversion of omega-3s into anti-inflammatory prostaglandins. Magnesium is able to do all of this inner sun catalytic and connective activity by its presence alone at the intercellular level. In threefold fashion, magnesium works into the etheric life forces. And then it goes on to finish the article, which is on the magnesium mystery, uh, with the quote from Lao Tzu, all that is flexible is alive, all that is rigid is dead. And it goes on to talk about the three, the threefold um, mystery, which would be um, entitled, the key words are flexibility. And then that kind of begins with a talk about flexibility and preservation and how they're connected and how that viscosity is used in the body. Um, and, you know, the, cal the calcium channel blocking effects to pull off that rigidity and allow for the structures to have strength and not brittleness and, and last longer. So you have that. And then in the second aspect is the well-distributed executive power, which is how magnesium is like a lattice of mineral coated lattice that has an active principle, like it's able to upregulate things locally. And it's also able to defend itself from bacteria locally because it's antibacterial. And so it's built into the structure as kind of like a ubiquitous protective first layer of protection instead of having to call the police or the macrophage or, you know, the granulose seats and call this, this all in to come help. You have a well-distributed executive power there already set up in the tissues, unless you've been deficient for years and then, which most are, and then that tissue has suffered. So over time, that tissue will heal and not only the tissue um, will heal over time, the long game, but even in the short game, the viscosity provided by daily magnesium, even beginning now, 
um, through the transdermal route will allow for um, that active viscosity to help you now. Um, but then the tissues will also build up over time, so you'll get the double effect over time. Um, and then it goes on to the third principle, which is the spark of cellular exchange. You know, the chelation, uptake, bonding, enzyme conjugation, catalyzation, detoxification, and regulation of membrane transport. Magnesium is the spark. So it talks a lot about enzymes and how, you know, magnesium mixes with other enzymes that are magnesium dependent and they combine in the case of like malate, like acid malic, they combine and, and then it's the acid malic helps break down aluminum and then that's chelated. And so there's all these processes in the body that it's helping to break down. Um, it also has an oxygen carrying capacity because it allows for a less sticky oxygenation, like meaning the oxygen molecule as it sets on top of the, the hemoglobin to be the platelets to be transported. There's a, there's a, like a C-shaped sigmoidal shape, and this is flexible, rendered flexible by magnesium so that the bonds are not too strong. It takes a bond that could be 25,000 times stronger and lessens that into where there's an easier offloading of that oxygen, so it increases oxygen, oxygenation in general in the body, not to mention the formation of the platelets, which can have strange shapes that are less circular and less ed the edges and things which make it harder for those platelets to move through the blood cells. I mean, through the veins. So, yeah, interesting article. Come check it out, theheartoftradition.com, and check out the products there, only in glass bottles, um, transdermal magnesium, uh, from the true Zextime inside logo, not the fake Zextime that is about 95% of the American products that you find. So come check us out, theheartoftradition.com.